Guys, check this out. Oh, no way. What an absolute beast. Hello and welcome back to RC Workshop. So today, guys, check it out. I have actually got myself the Tamiya Ford F350 High Lift in the collection. Guys, I have wanted one of these things for years. And I know, guys, listen, I am going to make this thing a shelf queen. This thing ain't really going to go out in the mud and dirt and anything else. It might be lucky enough to roll around on some path or grass. But this thing is not getting any abuse out there. I've got my other trucks for that out the back. But guys, check it out. I've wanted one for years. It's got the sound kit on there. It's got the light kit on there. Oh, I'm really excited to show you around this, guys. What I also have done is while I was spraying all the body shell, I have actually done a video already, which I'll slice on after this, of all the insides be behind all the sounds and everything else. So let's just fire this thing up. Let's just turn it on. I think it's this side. Get ready for this. And this is on low volume. Like an absolute beast. Look, let's just honk the horn. How cool is that? What? I will keep firing this up during this video because it just sounds absolutely incredible. But Tamiya have nailed the detail on this one all the way around. And by the way, the accessories and kit that you can buy for this aftermarket is literally off the charts. You can buy everything. Um, but we've got shaking exhaust, so the exhausts actually vibrate. They are on these little hangers that let them vibrate and shake. Uh, you've got the cab on the back, which actually moves up and down. Within there, then, you've got some of the works, which, again, I'll slice onto the video in a bit. You've got leaf spring suspension with oil-filled shocks next to that as well. Loads of metal work on this, guys. This is also a three-speed transmission. You can set it up for dual steering by just simply adding a link as well. So at the minute it's fixed, it's on the front, but you can actually add rear wheel steering just by adding a link to the car and everything still works off that front servo. This thing's powered off a 7.2 volt NIM battery. I don't think I'm going to lie power it up, guys, just because I don't think there's any need. This is more of a, um, I don't know, a childhood dream toy, let's call it that. This isn't like a... A basher model or something you can want to take out and get muddy really uh, well, for me anyway i've waited too long for it to smash it up so all that's going to happen with this is guys if i fancy buying myself something for it i'm going to buy it the more accessories on this the better i have already got the yellow light kit to go on there and everything else we've got the light bar on the top with all the lights in we've got the sound kit we've got the vibration kit on there uh, I'm definitely going to go for some beadlock wheels, uh, but these are really nice wheels that are on it at the moment anyway. Um, let's just show you underneath it as well then, guys. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. We've got steel drive shafts. We've got diffs back and front, which are lockable. They are currently unlocked. We've got metal skid plates going on. Got a three speed gearbox with loads of metal surround. Just in there, you can see is the gear selector. We've got the leaf springs, we've got all the bumpers going on, servos. Um, we've got servos to change the which gear you're in as well. Also, check this out on the on the um the sound module. Wow, look, this is a magnetic door. Look at that. I think that's called the Tamiya. FMC 02 sound module. Let literally with a flick of a switch, you can turn it on. And it... Ooh, that is loud. We've got a volume switch over there which you can turn up as well. So really loud. Let's turn that back down. Actually, it's honk the horn. You've got loads of other settings that you can set from there as well, like demo mode for all the lights and everything else. But the underneath, guys, like I say, I'm not sure whether you can tell as well. The exhaust tips are shaking. Let's actually sit the car on its, on its uh, wheels and see if we can see them exhaust tips shaking. 
Try and keep still. There you go. Oh, just for an extra bit of realism, the back of the truck is shaking as well. I'm not sure if it gets still enough to, to. There you go. I'm just about to see it shaking. So, also, I already have done a, uh, a preview of what this thing is capable of, but I'll just show you what it looks like with the shell on and all the lights on and everything else. So, if we turn on the left hand stick, oops, too far, up once, we've got the front lights, and then we can flash them up again. He says. There we go, and then top lights. It's a bit confusing guys, because you have to program the remote and there's all them channels to work out. You can also move these to the left or the right as well, which sets it to, up to a different parameter. If you put that up for fall example, you can rev the car without it moving. You've also got, let's turn this actually around so you can see it. When you rev it, that, that joyriding motor moves more. When you stop, brake lights come on, reverse, you reverse lights. The detail is incredible, guys, and the weight of this thing. I'll wait in a bit and tell you what it weighs. It's got a 3 kg, 2, 3 kg at least. But, ah, oh, I love it, and I've actually gone for the matte black which is really nice. I've ordered the rubber um, mirrors and the rubber window wipers off of eBay. They're just gonna be a lot more flexible. I've got the, the plastic ones in the box, but they're not gonna go on. Check that out, guys. That truck looks ridiculously real. What a fantastic piece of kit. What do you think I should do to it then, guys? If you're a fan of this F350, and you, what, are you, what you've seen out there, this is a blank canvas now. It's already blinged up and everything else what came with it. What shall I do to it? What shall I buy in metal? Shall I buy the axles? Shall I buy more accessories for the body shell? Let me know in the comments below. So just while I've got the shell off, uh, because obviously you have to undo all the screws to take the shell off, it's not just a few body clips. I wanted to show you what is actually in this MFC02 electronic uh, unit and oh my god guys check out the amalgamation of wires there that's for indicators brake lights normal rear lights uh, reverse lights indicators on the front high beam low beam and uh, the spotlights on top of the tr the back of it as well also that's the full sound unit so you've got the set the speaker there as well and you've also got the joy rating motor as well there's a motor with a weight on the end that moves and shakes the car, uh, depending on what the revs are like as well. Just look at that. All that is hiding underneath that beautiful body shell. Uh, shall I fire it up with it off? So just press this switch. And just wait a second. There you go. I'm not sure if you can see it moving at the moment. You can actually see that wire vibrating and the back just about there you go so if you put on the remote you put the switch up to the, the toggle switch on the left it'll let you rev it without it moving anywhere also then when you press down you got a horn and then you press right back up to the top and you should have front lights oops there you go and then you press it again fast and it flashes and then you press it up and down again and you've got your main lights that is so cool guys I'm really looking forward to using this so you can leave that up there and then you just give it a rev you've also got like so your indicators you can put your hazards on by flicking the lever to the left as well turn them off by doing the same uh, and you've also got reverse as well so and then brake and your brake lights come on and then reverse 
absolutely awesome guys as well with the body shell off you can see how all the leaf spring suspension works as well this is one cool Tamiya truck guys Woohoo! that is loud <laughs> Right then guys, so just to show you the acceleration and gear change on this thing, like I say, so if you do put this throttle stick up on the left and press throttle, it just enables you to rev it on the spot, put this throttle stick down, actually this is the steering, how odd's that? So you've got your left and your right steering, stick in the middle so it enables you to throttle, so you go for forward. Gear change is there. If you listen, it actually makes a gear change sound. So, first gear, second gear, third gear, and reverse, and the horn. Hey, <laughs> turn the lights off like that. You got uh, also blinkers. Woo! Anyway, guys, if you like this truck, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Like I say, don't forget to comment below on what you think the next upgrade should be on this truck. See you on the next one.